So, Emily, NCIS heading into its 12th season, it's the most watched drama on US television. Why do you think it continues to strike such a chord with viewers? Um, you know, I think it, it, it comes down to the chemistry between the cast. I think this is a really special cast, it's a really special team. Um, you know, it's a crime show, so it's, it's serious, but I think what makes it so successful is, is, again, the chemistry, but also, like, the comedic elements that they all bring to it, and the realness, you know, it's like the little quirks that make it real and relatable to people, I think. Now, it must have been slightly intimidating for you joining a show that's already been <laughs> running in such an almost juggernaut. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was very scary and very intimidating. Um, knowing how big this show is, and, and I, I so didn't expect to get this job, um, I was shocked um, and very intimidated and, and nervous. But, you know, the cast has been so wonderful to me, and they've made it. They made me feel so much a part of things. Uh, they, they have made the transition easier. The show obviously has such a dedicated fan base as well. What's the fan reaction been like to Bishop? What have you experienced? I mean, you know, there's your your normal things where you're going to get people who don't like you, and then. But honestly, for the most part, I think people have been pretty wonderful and and have embraced the character, which has been so nice and special for me to see in here. Do you like that she's not necessarily uh, the most slick agent? She does have these moments where she's kind of socially awkward, a little yeah. bit quirky. I love that about yeah. her. <laughs> I think it's the things that make her interesting. It's, you know, to me, it's it's the imperfections that make people interesting, and her quirks and her weirdness and how how imperfect she is is um, so fun to play. Now, how much do you know about what might be coming up for Bishop in season twelve? Um, you know, I. I I know a little bit. Um, it's all like a big collaboration over there. Uh, I'm excited to see where she goes, where they take her character. I think we'll end up, I hope we'll meet her husband um, and maybe know a little bit more about her background. Yeah, because we only sort of got to know her a little bit in, right. the, in the 11th season. Do you right. think we will explore maybe her past and her backstory and her I husband? Think, I would imagine so. Yeah, I mean, again, I don't know for sure, but I would imagine we'll, we'll that'll filter through. Look, she originally came into the show almost as a sort of replacement for Ziva, and even though people have embraced that character, Ziva still has a lot of fans as well. Do you think that character could ever come back? Do you think we'll ever see them, you know, cross paths? Ziva and, and Bishop? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We have to ask Gary that. <laughs> Was that something you'd like to see happen? Uh, yeah, of course. I think it'd be really fun. Yeah. And just finally, uh, we now have NCIS, NCIS LA, and now yes, NCIS New Orleans. New Orleans. Yes. Do you think maybe we could see a crossover between one of those shows, two of those shows, all three of those shows? Yeah, I think it's always a possibility. Again, I don't know for sure. Um, I was lucky enough to go down there while they were filming, um, which was really fun. I think I think we'll probably see a little bit of crossover. Yeah. Because New Orleans has an amazing cast as well. Amazing so. cast. Yeah. They've got such great chemistry together. They're such talented actors, and I think it'll be so cool. I mean, New Orleans itself is like its own character. So I think the show will be wonderful.